Hello and welcome to another video from me, Rough Swordsman Wargamer. It's an open the box, an unboxing of a game that has finally reached the shores of the UK. It is Storm Above the Reich, a solitaire game designed by Jerry White and Mark Asted. Hope I pronounced that right, Mark. And of course, published by GMT Games. So, what's all this about? Storm Above the Reich is a solitaire game depicting a Luftwaffe squadron of Focke-Wulf 190s struggling to deter and destroy the relentless daylight raids over Germany during World War II. The player's individual aircraft, each represented by a stickered block, must confront the mighty combat box formation of the United States Army Air Force, a deadly terrain of B-24 Liberator heavy bombers. Stretching from late 1942 to early 1945, Storm Above the Reich follows that trajectory in a series of missions strung together to make a campaign. Each mission will take half an hour or more to play, while a campaign can last anywhere between 6 to 60 minutes. And there's some more info there, which I won't go into, is quite a bit of uh, text there. And as you can see, the game contents, 122 by 34 inch map board, double sided, 117 by 22 inch map board, also double sided, and two double sided pursuit maps, one double sided vector map, a one off map display panel, one pilot roster and staffel log pad, two counter sheets, 60 wooden blocks, two sticker sheets, 96 attack and continuing fire cards, four bifold player aid cards, one rule book, one situation manual, one advanced rule book, and two 10 sided dice. Game scale, individual. Fighters, time scale, each turn equals seconds and minutes. And the map scale is area movement. It does say one to two players here, that'll be interesting to see. Playtime, four plus hours, ages 14 plus, and on the complexity scale, it has a complexity of four out of nine, and of course on the solitaire suitability, nine out of nine. Okay, let's get the shrink wrap off. The shrink wrap is off, so let's open the box. Big, thick. Three inch box, heavy. And the first thing we see is the rule book. So we'll get that out of the way. This comes in at 62 pages, 63 with the back index, glossy. Storm above the Reich, breaking the combat box. So here's sort of contents, introduction, and a getting started box here. See page 61 to stick your stickers on, and page 62 for a training mission to jumpstart the action. You don't need to read this rule book to learn the game. Peruse the player aid folders, they will explain the components and some basic concepts. Then follow the instructions on the bifold player aid for the basic game and start playing. Refer to this rule book as needed. Well, I have heard that it might not be as easy as that, but I shall find out for myself. So, telling you the components, a little bit about the missions and the FW 190s, section two, campaign, and the setup, mission setup. Again, with Jeremy White's rule books, they're full of pictures, nice large font, easy to read. I wish other rule books were like this. Determine situation, determine situation example. Now to lay out your table. Section three is the missions, how the formation map works and what the spaces and boxes mean. Elements and movement. Return. 
Um, escorts. Combat. Now to resolve aerial combat and the results. It's that squeaky paper, sorry. Recovery. Blast. Hmm. So you've got rockets as well. Flak, of course. Some examples of that. Cohesion checks. Approach. Maneuvers. Oh dear, collisions. Attack advantage. It looks very good. I haven't got the original skies above the Reich. It is on order with GMT. But that might take a while. But this is a standalone game. You don't need that one to play this. Although you can put them together, evidently. Lethal level. Oh dear. And then these attack cards. Attack results. Other attack results. And some more examples. Continuing fire. Examples of those. Event text. Breakaway. Mission tally. Fate. Tallying points. Staffle commands. And levelling up, so to speak, your pilots. Yes, experience points. There's the thing about the stickers they mentioned earlier and the training mission. So we will have a look at that. And on the back, the index. Them's the rules. Next, we've got the advanced rule book. Looks about 36 pages. And it says this booklet offers rules for advanced play, adding complexity, time and challenge. And also includes a number of optional rules. And here we go. Here's the two player option. And combining the two games. Right, let's have a quick look through this. Pursuit maps. Again, full colour, big large font. So here are the optional rules. Looks quite involved. Ah, the comet. Aft firing rockets. Sonder Commander Elba. Vectoring. Hmm. So I don't think I'll be using these to start with. Just like Atlantic Chase, another one of uh, Jerry's games, there's some advanced battle rules that I haven't looked into yet, but who knows? Rules for two players. How to do all that, taking turns. Looks like each player controls their own Fokker Wolves there. How to combine Skies and Storm. How to combine the components and the combined pilot roster for the two games. There we go. A lot in here. Here's the situation manual. To be honest, I'm not sure what most of this stuff does yet. 
as I've only just got the game. But it's about 27 pages. Those that have played Skies Above the Reich will probably recognise this sort of thing. Yeah. No need to go through that if I haven't got a clue what it is. Oh, crikey. There we are. And a pilot roster there. And winning and losing. Next is a long off-map panel. And as you can see, it's quite big. So need a bit of space along the side of the map there. But we've got our fate boxes, turn track down here. Engine cockpit fuselage. So damage. Fuel. And then on the other end of it, continues with the turn track. Elevator rudder. Escort display. And that sort of thing. Here's another similar thing called the vector map. It's another bifold, so we'll go along the side of the map, but this is for optional rules. Again, I haven't got a clue what this means yet, but on the other side, situation check tables. Right. Here's those pursuit maps they were mentioning in the advanced rules. And that's what's on the other side. Next, we've got some player aids. This is a bifold on the front here, formation maps. Let me open it up. Again, haven't got much of a clue what's going on here, but watch this space. And on the back, blast procedure. Here's the second bifold player aid. This one says operations menu on it. And instructions, a sort of sequence of play, it looks like, and one for the advanced game. And on the back, mission setup, where you pick the year you want to do. That'll tell you the maps, I suppose, the type of mission. This operational points and escorts, right. Another bifold player aid, this one for the advanced game only, explaining the sequence of play for pursuit. And on the other side, we've got another couple of sequence of plays. This time it's for the basic and advanced game, one for the mission and one for the attack phase. Next, we've got the stickers, but oh no, look, creasage. And a bit down the bottom there, I hope that's all right. And over there, I think that's missed that one. We'll soon find out. But there's all your planes. Right. A pad of pilot rosters. So we've got quite a few of those, but of course you can photocopy those. Two sheets. These are on the brown core, so nice and thick. And then a sheet of larger counters. Again on the brown core. There we go. Next is the mounted maps. Here's the smaller one, and this is formation map five, but they're double-sided, so. Here's the other side, formation map six. And here's the larger map. Sorry, it's not laying quite as flat as I would like, but a few heavy books on that overnight will sort that out. 
This is formation map seven. So much more going on there. And here's the other side, formation map eight. Not much left in the box now. Bag of wooden blocks. Two D10s. And a couple of decks of cards. Let's have a look at those. I've sorted the decks out. We've got a little deck that says nose attack. But again, I haven't got a clue what this means yet. So it will be interesting to find that out. So lots of numbers on there. We've got a tail attack deck again with these numbers on. An oblique attack deck. There we go. And the last one's a little bit different. It's continuing fire. And this deck has got not only a little table, but some text as well. Confused. There we go. That's your lot. So this has been an open the box, an unboxing of a brand new game and one that us on this side of the pond have been waiting for. It is Storm Above the Reich, a game designed by Jerry White and Mark Asted and published by GMT Games. Well, I hope you found that of use and it was interesting. If it was and you haven't done so already, it would be great if you would consider subscribing to the channel. It does help. Pushing the like button of this video helps as well. And if you want to be informed of other content that the channel uploads, push the bell. Leave a comment. I dare say there are a few of you that are already dipping your toes into this game. Let me know what you think. Thanks as always to my subscribers. Thanks very much indeed. And just before I go, if you want to support the channel a little bit further, well now you can, you can buy the channel a coffee. And all those coffees fuel the channel and enable it to upload new content. If you want to check that out, I shall leave a link in the description and thank you. So, until next time, as always, you take care and goodbye.